So Charlie, it's a spring morning. Normally this time of year for flat trainers, it's quite an exciting time because you're dreaming about winning classics and the, the two-year-olds aren't far off. Even Royal Ascot, you, you might be thinking about. This year's a bit different with the coronavirus. Just tell us how it's affecting you. Yeah, I mean, just last week, you know, we opened up the up the grass and uh, you know, had our first work morning. And, um, you know, we were all sort of gearing up for the start of the season. Obviously, it's come to a, come to a, a grind, really. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a huge shame. It's it's a very sort of scary time really for everybody. Um, and it's not a case of like the jumps boys. They can who might be roughing off good horses for the summer. You still hopefully, if racing gets the go ahead relatively soon in a month's time at the at the end of April, you wanna you wanna get going, hit the ground running. What are you gonna do with the horses for the next sort of few weeks? Well, look, we've, we've they've had a good um, good winter. Uh, routine, you know, they've got, we had a good, good amount of cantering sort of through the through the early months of this year. Um, I'm happy where the horses are at this stage. You know, they've got a good level of fitness. So, you know, for the next sort of coming weeks, we're just going to have to go back to routine canters again, and and then you know start picking up when um, when when the time comes. And I suppose for flat horses, um, they they often do a lot of ticking over during the winter anyway. So it their, their routine, they, you know, it won't blow their minds to sort of just go back to that, will it? No, it won't. I mean, obviously, you know, we're starting to just step up their feed levels, um, so we'll have to bring them down again to, you know, the winter, the winter feed. Um, but you know, that won't stop us. You know, hopefully, we'll. You know, the, the guys in the yard have been great. You know, they've um, done a great job coming in every morning. You know, and um, you know, fair play to them. Yeah, it's a it's a worrying time for, for the industry. What sort of the reaction you've had from fellow trainers and owners? You know, we're all in in it together, really. Um, you know, so we're luckily in a great industry where everyone does get together and, you know, acts as a, as a team. So, um, you know, obviously the jumping season's now finished. So, um, I think you know, hopefully we'll try and get a couple of, a um, couple of staff from there. You know, and just try and all work together and um, try and make try and make a living. And now, I so suppose we're not stuck in an office spot, but. You must be taking precautions with staff, reminding them of following the government guidelines. Is, is that the case, I take it? Yeah, absolutely, of course. You know, we've got to be very responsible, um, you know, keep our distances. Um, you know, obviously in the, in the feed rooms or in the, in, the, in the tack rooms as well, you know, not to get in t in t too close to e one another and, um, you know, respect, re re respect everybody. And next week you've got Equilateral who's going for the Alcor Sprint on World Cup night, but you're not going to head over. At this stage, you know, anything can change. It changes daily, so uh, I think they put a restriction in uh, yesterday. So I don't think we will be able to get there as it, as it stands at the moment. Uh, but the horse has been there all winter and he's in great shape. So I just, uh, well, purely it's a bit selfish, but I hope they do run run the run the meeting. Um, but uh, you know, he's in he's in good form, he's collateral, and uh, it probably won't be as good a field as it has been in previous years because of what's going on. So. Will Kennedy, jump jockey, um, slight, maybe an unfamiliar face to this yard though. You're at Charlie Hills' is first day of a new job. Just tell us a bit about this and how it's come about. Well, look, as uh, everyone knows the situation at the moment, and there's, there's no jump or no racing at all, and and the jumps has really been hit. Um, the flat not hit so much because they were just prepping the horses for the coming season. Um, but jumping is just uh, it's really well curtailed the end of the season, and then the the, the Summer horses aren't ready to go with yet, and, and we don't even know when we're going to get racing back. So, um, needed to earn some money, and nice to come here and be able to sit on some horses for Charlie. And you say Jamie Insel, your nephew, um, works here anyway. He's one of the, the assistants here, so that was the link. Yeah, I, I came uh, last summer and did a bit as well, and um, but uh, I think it'd be a bit more, um, bit more full time this year maybe. So, how big, big of a scare is it for for jockeys? What what are the rest of the lads saying? Are you all sort of petrified about this? Yeah, look, it's it's really it petrifies probably not the, the word. I mean, it's 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 very strange, and um, we we don't have a, an exact date when it's all going to have come back. And look, it's going to come back sometime in the next two months, hopefully, and and then it, it'll just be back to business as usual, getting into the jump yards and that. But my only income is is riding in races, and um, without that, I, I I need to get some money somewhere. And so coming here and um, riding out in the mornings is is the is the next best thing. And the BHA took the decision to sort of suspend racing until the, the end of April. Are the, is that the vibe that that's the right decision? Well, look, the boys have kept going in Ireland, but um, it's very difficult. I mean, you look at, 
uh, other countries, Italy and, and, and Spain, and how badly they've been hit. And um, I think a decision had to be made, and, and rightly or wrongly, that it's been made, and, and we just have to do it, deal with it now. You'll just keep keep going, and hopefully racing can come back as soon as possible. Yeah, look, I'll I'll, I'll come in here six mornings a week, probably now, um, from now on, um, get a few quid, and then hopefully racing you get going back in the summer and um, get back into the routine of going racing every day. Jamie, it's obviously a worrying time for trainers, not just trainers, everyone in the world at the moment with coronavirus. Um, I might have mistakenly thought this would be a kinder time to jump trainers sort of with the end of the season approaching, but it's frustrating nonetheless. Uh, listen, I don't think anything like this is, 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 is there's, there's no good time or bad time. It's, um, it's worrying for, for racing, it's worrying for our businesses and it's worrying, you know, for the world, I suppose, isn't it? What, um, in terms of your, your business, what's been the response from owners? Well, the owners have been, been, been brilliant. You know, we've got wonderful owners and wonderful staff. Um, so everyone's been very supportive. But I suppose that, you know, the horses are, are going out, you know, on, the, on their sort of elongated summer holidays. And, and uh, that obviously impacts businesses and it impacts staff as well. So there's still jobs to be done, steam cleaning, painting, creosoting, the usual kind of summer summer jobs to get everything sort of spick and span ready for for the season ahead. But uh, I suppose the the worry is if racing doesn't resume in May um and it, and it goes back even further. But uh, I mean the short term you know the short term annoyance is obviously missing out on 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 entry and and the 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 April meeting at Cheltenham as well that that mayor's meeting and plenty of other big races you know the the sand down and the air and perth and uh, listen it's 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 frustrating um we we purposefully didn't run many at cheltenham with a view to keeping some of them back for entry um trying to go there with with, with fresh horses so uh, you know we've had a wonderful season um but it would have been nice to cap it off with Hogan's Height winning the Grand National. <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been a cherry on a very nice cake. Um, needlessly, you've seen racing in Ireland continue. The BHA have sort of pulled the plug on it over here. What, what's your view on that? Well, listen, they they obviously know more about it than I do, but um, certainly it came very quickly. Um, you know, on the back of Cheltenham last week, and then racing behind closed doors at the start of this week. And then all of a sudden, entry was off and, and, and racing was off and bang, bang, bang. It all came very sudden um, and, and very quickly. They, obviously, people's health is, is more important than, than, than racing in the grand scheme of things. But uh, obviously, there's that balance between the world going into a massive recession and the world having a, 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 a health crisis. And um, at the moment, thankfully, you know, we're all fit and healthy uh, and, and we haven't seen any of the, the, the virus down here. So ultimately it's affecting our businesses before our health. But uh, listen, health is obviously you know, key in, in every walk of life. And so obviously following government guidelines stuff, have you taken any measures around the yard in terms of briefing staff and instructing them? Yeah, exactly, all of the above. Um, we, we're, we're having daily meetings. Well, we're... <laughs> six foot apart or whatever it is and you know obviously nobody's in the tea room and this that and the other and i uh, listen there's 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 all things that we're doing lots of hand washing and usual kind of stuff that that, that we're being advised to do but um you know i think as much as anything it's the it's the daily meetings to to keep you know the the team on board of what is going on and and uh we've we're having a trainers meeting every every couple of days on the phone um so at least we're keeping you know being kept in the loop and and obviously we would need to sort of dish out the information to to the staff so yeah it's um it, it's trying times for everybody you you mentioned about how tough it might be for businesses you've had a good season so you, you know your prize money was up and every everything etc but for for some trainers perhaps not not as fortunate and there will obviously be trainers who are in a better position than you as well how, how worrying is this for sort of the, the trainers and even jockeys well, I think it's the uncertainty, isn't it? That's the biggest, the biggest fear. You know, if racing resumed in May, as I said earlier, if racing resumed in May, then, you know, everything sort of ticks over and it's just, we've just had an elongated summer holiday. But um, if, if it goes back, you know, any further and it's the, the fear of the unknown, um, we don't know where, where we stand. Um, it, it is uncertain times, it's strange times and, and it's the it's the not knowing which is the which provides the fear and the rumours. Um, we've got to go on what 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 is actually factually correct and 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 hopefully if we can have some kind of idea of when racing will resume, then we can sort of work backwards from there.
the, the approaching this time of year and coming to the summer is when a lot of trainers would be sort of going to the transfer market, buying young horses. How's your sort of approach to that changed? Well, that's 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 key, isn't it? You know, um, transfer of horses, the buying, it's the selling, it's the moving on. I always think it has, you know, running a business, it's got to be like a conveyor belt. You know, there are other people, you know, we need to put horses into sales and we need to be going to buy. It's got to be active. And unfortunately, at this time, you know, things aren't active. Um, you, you won't be able to sell horses, you won't be able to buy horses, you know. Um, so everything goes a little bit stagnant and uh, that's that's never good for any business. So on a, on a lighter note, the school's closed today, so you'll have a few extra pair of hands to help round the, the yard? Yeah, I think, I think the boys become expert cricket players and rugby players in the next couple of weeks, but uh, I, I might get better at football myself.